Hello, I'm Deval Bot, Senior Sales Engineer at Samsung. In this video, we'll show you how to create a Knox Manage account. You will need a Samsung account to use your Knox Manage account. To get started, you'll need to go to samsungnox.com and click Enroll in the upper right hand corner. Enter your work email address and click Next. Remember, personal email accounts are not accepted. If you already have a Samsung account linked with this email address, click Sign In and complete the Knox Portal registration form. Otherwise, click Create a Samsung Account. Input the necessary information in the required fields and click Continue to register your Samsung account. Confirm your email address on the next screen and click Confirm. Shortly after, you should receive a confirmation email. Open the confirmation email for the registered Samsung account, click Verify Account, and then click Start. Log back into your new Samsung account and click Sign In. Fill out the required fields and click Submit to complete the Knox Portal registration process. Note that the fields shown here may differ slightly depending on the country from which you're accessing the Knox Portal. After you've created your Samsung Knox account, you can request access to Knox Manage. To do so, log back into samsungknox.com, scroll down to Knox Manage, and click on Get Started. If you don't already have a license key, click Generate Trial Key. If you already have a commercial or trial license key, enter that key instead. Fill out the other required information fields. Remember this tip. If your enterprise is already using Knox Manage and you are setting up Knox Manage for your specific department, provide a prefix to distinguish your account from the main enterprise account. Agree to the terms and conditions. Click Set up Knox Manage to finish creating your account. And that's how to create a Knox Manage account. To learn more about how Samsung Knox can help your business, visit samsung.com slash Knox. For support with or to access your account, visit samsungknox.com. Hello, I'm Deval Bot, Senior Sales Engineer at Samsung. In this video, we'll show you how to use Knox Manage Quick Start Wizard. This tool helps with organization and user registration, profile settings, application registration, and profile and application distribution. To get started, visit samsungknox.com. Click the sign in button in the upper right corner. Once you get to the login page, enter your credentials and click sign in. This will take you to the Knox dashboard page. Scroll down to Knox Manage and click Launch. Log into the Knox Manage admin portal. Select Quick Start from the admin portal menu on the left hand side. Enter the organization title. Click Add to register a user into the organization. In the Add User window, Enter the user information. A username, user ID, and email are all mandatory fields. Once complete, click Save, then Next. Note that once created, you cannot edit the organization title. However, the added user can be edited or deleted from the organization. In the Add Profile step, you can create a profile to manage devices or applications. In this example, we will create a device management profile. Click Create Profile under Device Management Profile and provide a profile name. Here are some of the most common policies for device management. Additional policies can be added by going to Profiles and editing your device management profile. In this example, we're forcing GPS on. Make your desired selections in the Quick Start Wizard. Once completed, click Save. When the device management profile settings are completed in the Add Profile step, click Next. In the Deploy Profile step, check the information you have set for Set Organization and User, Device, and App Management Profile. Before deploying, you can click Modify in each step to confirm your settings. Once complete, click Deploy. In the Deploy Profile window, 
Select either email or SMS and click confirm to deploy the profile. The deployed profile is automatically applied after the installation of Knox Manage. If needed, you can always edit user information or the device management profile from your Knox Manage admin portal. And that's how to use Knox Manage Quick Start Wizard. To learn more about how Samsung Knox can help your business, visit samsung.com slash Knox. For support with or to access your account, visit samsungnox.com. Hello, I'm Deval Bot, Senior Sales Engineer at Samsung. In this video, we'll show you how to activate a Knox Manage license key. To get started, visit samsungnox.com. Click the sign in button in the upper right corner. Once you get to the login page, enter your credentials and click sign in. This will take you to the Knox dashboard page. Scroll down to Knox Manage and click launch. Log into the Knox Manage admin portal. Once logged in, go to Settings and select Service, and then License. Next, click on the plus sign and select either eFOTA or Common to register the eFOTA license or Knox Manage license. In the Register License window, enter the Knox Manage or eFOTA license key in the License Key field. Click the magnifying glass icon to verify the license by a Samsung license management system. Once the license verification is complete, the information will appear at the bottom of the window. Check all of the license information. If it is correct, click Save, and then click Yes. And that's how to activate a Knox Managed license key. To learn more about how Samsung Knox can help your business, visit samsung.com slash Knox. For support with, or to access your account, visit samsungnox.com. Hello, I'm Deval Bot, Senior Sales Engineer at Samsung. In this video, we'll show you how to use the kiosk wizard to build a kiosk app in Knox Manage. For companies that are looking for a customized and controlled experience, the kiosk wizard allows IT administrators to build a custom launcher for their enterprise devices. First, you'll need to visit samsungnox.com. Click the sign in button in the upper right corner and enter your credentials. Once logged in, select Launch in Knox Manage under My Solutions. Enter your Knox Manage admin account credentials to access the console. Once you're logged in, you'll see the following dashboard. Under Admin Portal menu on the left side, select Applications, select Kiosk Applications, and then click the plus sign. Select Add Multiple Applications. This will launch the Kiosk Wizard. In the Kiosk Wizard, you can customize your configuration settings in the top section and use the preview window to drag and drop widgets and applications. We recommend that any logos or wallpapers be uploaded in PNG format. There are extensive configuration settings available. Let's walk through them. Name, package name of the Kiosk app, version, which allows you to keep a record of the current version of the kiosk application, screen lock, which allows you to set a passcode for the kiosk application. You can select a four digit number or six to 10 alphanumeric password. Admin mode, this allows for offline unenrollment in the event the device is disconnected from the server. Orientation, which allows you to set the kiosk in landscape, portrait, or auto-rotate. Grid. Select grid options according to the orientation setting. Settings. Check the box for status bar or logo to use. To add a logo, check the box and click on the logo icon in the preview screen. Rearrange icons. Check this box to allow users to rearrange icons on the device. Icon size. Icon size can be adjusted from 50% to 100%. 
icon text. Choose whether to hide or shadow the text and to add a color. Point color. Set the color to be applied to the icons and page indicator in the launcher. Background color. Select a background color of the kiosk. Under the components section, utilities and applications are available to be added. In this example, we will add a clock to the kiosk by dragging the clock utility into the preview window. Applications can also be added in the same manner. Select the type of application, internal, public, or control, and drag into the preview window. Once the kiosk application is complete, click Build. And that's how to use Kiosk Wizard to build a kiosk app in Knox Manage. To learn more about how Samsung Knox can help your business, visit samsung.com slash knox. For support with or to access your account, visit samsungknox.com. Hello, I'm Deval Bot, Senior Sales Engineer at Samsung. In this video, we'll show you how to push applications over the air with Knox Manage. With this feature, IT administrators can remotely install approved applications through the web console. To get started, visit samsungknox.com. Click the sign in button in the upper right corner. Once you get to the login page, enter your credentials and click sign in. This will take you to the Knox dashboard page. Scroll down to Knox Manage and click Launch. Log into the Knox Manage admin portal. In Knox Manage, you can add three kinds of applications, internal, public, and control. To find this setting, go to Applications in the admin portal menu. Internal applications are any custom or homegrown tools your organization has built. Public applications are sourced through your preferred app store. Control applications include any of the applications within the internal and public group that the IT admin can control and manage. These applications can be blacklisted or whitelisted. In this example, we will push an internal application over the air. Click on internal applications, click on the plus sign. This opens the Add Internal Application screen. Select your platform and click Browse to upload your custom application. Select the application and then click Open. Finally, click Save to add your internal application. Select Profiles and then click Application Management Profile. Click on the plus sign and select New Registration. Enter a profile name and click Next. Click Yes. Assign this profile to an organization or group. Make your desired selection, then click Save. The console will prompt you to deploy the profile. You will select No initially. Click on Application and then the plus sign to add applications to the profile. Select an application and click Next to assign permissions. Click Save, then Apply. For internal applications, the option is available to install automatically or manually. Public applications can only be installed manually. In the final prompt, select No for applying the profile. Now we'll show you how to push the updated profiles to a device. Under Admin Portal menu, select Devices and Users, and select Devices. Check the box next to the device that the applications will be pushed to, and select Device Command. Select Frequently Used, and select Apply the Latest Device Management Profile and App Info. This will push down the profiles to the device. Click OK then click OK again. And that's how to push applications over the air with Knox Manage. To learn more about how Samsung Knox can help your business, visit samsung.com slash knox. For support with or to access your account, 
visit SamsungKnox.com. Hello, I'm Deval Bhatt, Senior Sales Engineer at Samsung. In this video, we'll show you how to locate or remotely wipe a device with Knox Manage. Remote device management is a key feature of any EMM MDM and allows an IT administrator to control devices that may be lost or stolen. To get started, you need to go to samsungknox.com. Click the sign in button on the upper right corner and enter your credentials. Once logged in, select Launch in Knox Manage under My Solutions. Enter your Knox Manage admin account credentials to access the console. Under Admin Portal menu, on the left-hand side, select Devices and Users, and then select Devices. The Devices window shows the current status of all enrolled devices in Knox Manage. This window allows the IT admin to send commands and retrieve data from managed devices. Select a device by checking the box to the left of the device. Then click on the device location icon in the actions column. This will present a window that shows the most recent reported location of the device, as well as a historical 30-day view available through the drop-down menu. To request the current location of the device, select the device and click on Device Command. This will list options for remotely managing a device. Select Device Confirmation on the left-hand side of the window and select Location on the right and click OK. This will send a command to the device to report the current location. After sending the command, click on the Device Location icon in the Actions column and a window will appear with the current location. Now you can decide if you want to remotely wipe the device. Check the box on the left of the device you'd like to wipe and click on Device Command. The following window will show options for commands to send to a device. Highlight Device Management on the left-hand side of the window and select Factory Reset Only on the right. This will send a command to wipe the device. And that's how to remotely locate or remotely wipe a device with Knox Manage. To learn more about how Samsung Knox can help your business, visit samsung.com slash knox. For support with or to access your account, visit samsungknox.com.